Hello, hello, this is Fear Dragon coming at you with another StarCraft 2 netcast. Today we have the finals from the Zotac EU Cup number 159. If you have not seen the semifinals, I highly recommend you click on the annotations below and go ahead and check those out. But if you're still around, I'm going to assume you have, and we're going to go ahead and jump in and introduce the players who have made it to the finals. Spawning up here in the top right hand corner of Daybreak as the Red Zerg player. He has worked very, very hard. He's a very well-known player, and he's going to be looking to take this finals. It is a best of five, so he needs to win three games. It is going to be Acer's Nurchio. And his opponent is playing the bottom left-hand corner of Daybreak as the yellow Zerg player already tossed out that GLHF, but has yet to receive a response from his uh, opponent. It is going to be representing Team Na'Vi. Navi's Minato! Formerly on Team FXO, of course. But a Zerg vs. Zerg on our hands today. I am curious to see how players will open this up. Daybreak is also a map that most of these players have just been playing on for ages and ages and ages. Even since the Wings of Liberty days. And just because, I mean... Zergs haven't really noticed too big of a change before Lair Tech in ZVZ. So I'm pretty sure that all the little intricacies of the map and all this kind of stuff players are going to be feeling very, very familiar with up until Lair Tech, in which, at which point Mutalis will tend to be a little bit more dominant. But of course, at the same time, you do have to remember that, I mean, with the Spore Crawler change that happened, I think about a month ago now, it's actually been quite some time now. But it really has allowed players to experiment a little bit more with things like Hydralis play, with Infestor play and whatnot. And even a little bit of Swarm Host plus Nidus Swarm action. So I'm really excited to see whether or not any of these players or either of these players will actually go for any kind of crazy non mutalist tech. Or if they're just going to be going for all out crazy pre-layer tech. Because uh, I know I've seen quite a few ZVZs that do end up... Just ending on Zergling Baneling aggression or giant Roach tech switches. And it's definitely still a very viable option to go for all those kind of busts. But in the meanwhile, it looks like for the most part, no big, big changes. Of course, it does look like Nurtio went for a slightly later hatchery because he went for that earlier spawning pool. And also ended up getting a slightly later gasp just because of the same thing, going for that earlier spawning pool. Meanwhile, Minato is going to be grabbing that slightly later gas, but also getting up his spawning pool. is going to have just enough gas, actually, to start up his Zergling speed very, very soon. Looks like he grabbed that gas gas a little bit early and is going to continue to mine from it. So I'm assuming that he's probably going to be going for some sort of Baneling play, or at least early on, uh, maybe for defense or maybe for offense. I mean, he did grab a fairly early gas geyser, considering how much gas he's actually been able to mine so far. In the meanwhile, Nurtio also continuing that gas mining, just now starting Zergling speed, but he's going to be able to throw up his own bailing that's fairly, fairly soon. So we'll end up seeing how this goes. A little bit of Zergling on Zergling action. Looks like both of the Zerglings sitting over in the red, and meanwhile, two of very, very healthy Zerglings giving chase to each other, and the other one, of course, from Nurtio. Just getting a little bit of scouting information around the map. This Zergling is definitely not in a good mood about having that other Zergling chase after for such a long time. Eventually, it looks like Minato Zergling going to give up. Just probably retire to the Watchtower. No, just going to go all the way back home. But interesting. I would like to see him maybe just seize a little bit of map control just because... I mean, it's nice to have a little bit of that map control. See if your opponent's going for something crazy, crazy with Zerglings. Just because, I mean, they might be doing something sneaky and not sending those organs down this ramp. Maybe they send it down around to the third and go over a very sneaky path. But, of course, unlikely, I will admit. In the meanwhile, we do see the Banley Nest going up for Nurtio. Uh, a little bit, actually, later than Minato's Banley Nest, I think. Uh, yeah, Minato actually instead going for double Evolution Chamber super early on. Oh my god, actually... I think that Minato might be looking to hit some sort of crazy 1-1 timing with a ton of speedlings or something. Because, I mean, the second Evolution Chamber is going to be finishing up. He's going to be going for that melee attacks upgrade. Of course, the Carapace upgrade, very, very important in the ZVZ matchup. It allows your Zerglings to not actually die 
to a single bane lane and that can actually be so so vital for those early zerling bane lane attacks now we do see nurji also going for like double evolution chamber a little bit later than minato he's only just now starting those evolution chambers so that does mean that minato is going to have a really nice timing that he can actually go for that attack and we can see he's actually just been pumping pure zerlings now again minato does not have a bane lane nest right now so that does mean that whatever aggression he decides to do, he's going to have to do with pure Zorgans. And that also means that if, with this third expansion being taken by Minato, uh, Nurtio instead goes on the aggressive side, that Minato's going to have to defend with purely speed links. And that could actually be very, very micro-intensive and a little bit difficult to do. But we'll have to see if he can do it. Again, he will have that a nice little upgrade advantage, considering that his upgrades will be finishing. Looks like a good 100 or so, 90 seconds before. But now we end up seeing Minato moving out across the map. This is the Speedling Aggression attacks that I was talking about, where he's going to hit that 1-1 one, one timing. It looks like one, actually, plus one melee attacks will not be finished up, but Carapace upgrade will be finished in about 15 seconds. And he has to be careful not to lose any of those organs before his Carapace upgrade finishes up. I think that he actually uh, is hitting just a little bit too early, but I mean, it looks like he is satisfied with just trying to do as much damage as he can. Three spine crawlers going up for Nurtio. Nurtio realizes how important it is that he defends over here, but Banelings galore actually getting some pretty okay hits, I have to say, considering how many Zerlings Minato is actually sacrificing to go in with all those Banelings. But now it looks like Minato feels comfortable moving in. I'm not sure how much I agree with this, but it looks like only one Banelings going to be actually be morphing in over here for Nurtio. And Minato definitely has an overwhelming number of Zerlings, but the spine crawlers are doing a ton of damage, reinforcing units. Coming out for Acer's Nurtio, and it looks like the last spine crawler is very, very low in health. Reinforcing Nurtio's uh, Zerglings do come out, and it looks like close enough. Nurtio holds very, very well, and actually takes a little bit of a supply lead. Additional Zerglings coming out for Minato. Looks like he is not done with the aggression, but Nurtio, with some breathing room, is going to be able to morph in four additional Banelings and even get up some spine crawlers. And one bailing hit goes off, but not really doing too, too much damage. And oh my god, Nurture has a couple opportunities to get some great bailing hits off over there. Not quite able to make the hits he wants to, but those Zergs managed to sneak their way around the remainder of the bailings and actually managed to make it all the way into the main base. But they actually are in a slightly more limited number than Acer Nurture's Zergs. And now having 1-1 one, one finish up for both of the players. Minato's advantage is now gone, and Nurtio going to be pressing the advantage as he moves his way across the map. Could even swing around and take out a couple of those two Zerglings over there. And actually, no, not even going to bother. Just going to start morphing Banelings in clear sight of Minato. Minato going to be going across the map once again to try and deal with Nurtio's aggression. And it looks like these Banelings are going to be able to morph in just fine and completely safely. In the meanwhile, meanwhile, plus two has not actually started for either of these players. It doesn't even look like Layer Tech has actually started. But in the meanwhile, we do have Nurtio being very, very aggressive. It looks like he's going to be able to take out the Spine Crawler of Minato. And all the Bailey's going to be coming here. The Queen completely getting surrounded. The Evolution, or sorry, the Roche one also going to get target fired down by a handful of Zergas. The Bailey's galore actually moving their way into the main base. And it looks like Navi's Minato surrenders in game number one. Oh, Bailey gets going off on the Queen before Nurtio decides to leave the game and once again Nurtio taking game number one in a best of five series he is already kind of setting the pace up for the series just both of these players actually saying you know what we don't need layer tech it's Zerglings and Banelings that will do just fine and you know Minato trying to go for that Roach Warren a little bit earlier but not quite able to get it up in time and it looks like that third base just did not end up working out for Minato as he was a little bit behind and Nurtio was able to really press that big advantage of being able to catch up in those upgrades and also be able to have those banlings out. So with that being said, Nurtio is going to be up 1-0 moving into the next series. So please click on the annotation and it'll take you to game number two. And of course, that is of course assuming that game number two is already out. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed my cast, and if you have any feedback or anything, please like and leave a comment below, and of course subscribe. With that being said, you guys are all beautiful, and I will see you guys in game number two.